Hello, this is Mr. Buffington. We're going to be finding factors, just some quick tricks to help you, you know, be able to factor numbers or find factors of numbers pretty quickly. And first number, one. Let's start at the beginning. All whole numbers have a factor of one. So that's pretty straightforward. If it's a, a number, just a number, has a factor of one. All right, let's move on to something that's a little bit more complicated, and that's the number two. All even numbers have a factor of two. So if it ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, then it's a factor of two. Divisible by two is another way of saying that. That number would be divisible by two, or two is a factor of that number. Let's look at some examples, 57 and 42. We look at the number in the ones column. All right, I'm going to color them red for this example. 57, so I'll be looking at the number 7. Is it an even number? Is it 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8? No, it's not. Whereas 42 ends in the number 2. Is that even? Does it end with 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8? Yes, it does. So all numbers divisible by 2 or that have a factor of 2 will be even. All right, gets a little bit more complicated with the as we get bigger numbers. Three is our next one. For three, all you need to do is quickly add the digits, and if the sum is divisible by three, the number is also divisible by three. You're going to need to know some basic multiples of three, but this is a quick way to check for larger numbers. So here's some examples. With the number 12, I would say the digits are one and two. I would add them up, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 is divisible by 3, therefore 12 is divisible by 3. 24, 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 is divisible by 3, therefore 24 is also divisible by 3. 36, 3 plus 6 is 9, 9 is divisible evenly by 3, therefore 36 is also divisible by 3. Right. So now let's look at a couple that are not in fact, um, divisible by 3. 41, 4 plus 1 is 5. Therefore, 5 is not divisible by 3. It's not a multiple of 3. Therefore, it's not going to work. 70, we would take 7 plus 0, which is 7. And 7 is not divisible by 3. Therefore, 70 is also not divisible by 3. All the examples I've used are pretty small. I decided I'd throw a larger example in there, 768. You would add up the numbers 7 plus 6 plus 8, which will give you 21. Now, 21, you can look at that and say 21 is 3 times 7. So you could say, yes, that's divisible by 3. However, if you want to go farther, you could say 2 plus 1 is 3, and then find out that, again, that is divisible by 3. So you can add them up until the point where you actually get a number that's a single digit if you want to break it down to that point. Or if you recognize that 21 is 7 times 3, then you would also recognize 3 is a factor of 21. Therefore, 3 is also a factor of 768. All right, the number 4 has two. Um, Two things that will help us to know if it's divisible by 4. If, first off, the number has to be even. If it's not even, there's no point in even looking farther. So it has to end in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. The next part is that the final two numbers are 0, 0, or those two numbers are divisible by 4. So let's go ahead and take a look at a series of examples here. And we're going to be looking. Um, all of these examples, we can just quickly look through them and say which ones are even, which ones are not. And that would help us to cross out a couple of examples. 17 is not even, so therefore that's not even in the, in the running. This one here is also not even, so we could cancel those out right at the beginning. But instead, what we're going to do is we're actually going to look at the final two numbers, digits, I should say, of each number. If it's a 0, 0, then it's divisible by 4. 16 is a multiple of 4. In other words, 16 divided by 4 is equal to 4. So because 16 is a multiple of 4, this number is also divisible by 4. Or in other words, 4 is a factor of that number. Let's have this number, 146,228. Huge number. All we need to do is focus on those last two digits, 
2, and 8. Is 28 a multiple of 4? Yes, it is. So therefore, 4 is a factor of 146,228. 17, we already determined that 17 is not an even number, so we could have canceled it there. We also know that 17 is not a multiple of 4. Therefore, our answer is that it's not divisible by 4. If it has the double zeros, it's divisible by 4, so we don't have to even look at anything else. And then this one here, the final two numbers are 19. And 19 is not a multiple of 4, so our 1019 is not divisible by 4. 4 is not a factor of that final number. All right. Remember to look at the final two numbers. You also need to know your four times tables. You need to know multiples of four to be able to check this pretty quickly. 16, 28. Um, know that 17 and 19 are not multiples of four. All right. Five is kind of easy. This is nice. If it, it has, the number has to be greater than zero, it can't be zero. And then it would end with a zero or a five. So again, it's not the number zero, but anything greater than zero that ends in zero or five is going to be um, have a factor of five. So here are examples for the number five. We'll start off by highlighting the final term. We're just looking, or the final digit. We're just looking at the digit in the ones column. Two, five, six, and zero. And if it ends with a zero or a five, then it is a factor, then five is a factor of that number. This one here ends in two, therefore five is not a factor of 102. This one ends in five, therefore five is a factor of 105. This one ends in six, so five is not a factor of 56. This one ends in zero, so therefore five is a factor of 10. And you can use this for as large a number as you want, and it will always work out. If it ends in a zero or in a five, then five is a factor of this larger number. All right, for six, we have to look at the tricks for number two and number three combined. So in other words, is the number even, and is it a sum of the digits a multiple of three? All right, so let's take a look here. Examples for six. First off, we're going to look through them, um, starting here at the final digit. Is it even? Does it end in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8? The first number, 27, is odd, so we can cancel that one out immediately. These next three are all even, so we're going to have to go on to the second step. So it's divisible by 2. Now we need to check and see if it's divisible by 3. To do that, we add up the digits. 4 plus 3 plus 2 is 9. 9 is divisible by 3. Therefore, this number is divisible by 2, 3, and 6, which is what we're looking for. All right, let's look at our next number. 7 plus 2 is 9. 9 is divisible evenly by 3. Therefore, again, 72 is divisible by 2, 3, and what we're looking for, which is 6. Let's look at one more example, 542. We, we found that it is even. Let's add up the numbers. 5 plus 4 is 9, plus 2 is 11. 11 is not divisible by 3. So although this one, number, 542, is divisible by 2, because it's even, it is not divisible by 3. Therefore, it is not divisible by 6. So to be divisible by 6, you have to be both even and divisible by 3. All right. 7, a little bit of a monster. Um, you basically have to memorize for 7 the times tables for 7. And as far as you memorize, that's as far as it goes. You can also check using your calculator if you get a really large number. Just check and make sure that it is divisible by 7. That's about the only way to do it with 7. There are, there are some other tricks that I think are a little bit more complicated. Um, when I check for 7, I usually just grab my calculator and check. Um, with 8, you can check really large numbers. Like if it has three zeros, it's divisible by eight. But um, again, with eight, it has some patterns, but the patterns are a little bit more complicated. So again, um, the easiest way is to pretty much 
Um, if it's a large number with three zeros, it's divisible by eight. If it it has to be even to be divisible by eight, so that's another way to look at it. It really needs to be divisible by two as well, but that only cancels out a little bit. Generally speaking, you're going to need to check with eight as well. With nine, our final, our second last number we're going to look at. This one here is very similar to three. If you add up the digits and they are divisible by nine, then the number is divisible by nine. Let's look at some examples for nine. We'll start off with nine. Nine is nine, which is divisible by nine. All right, 81, which is eight plus one. Eight plus one is nine. Right. Again, we're just adding the digits in this number, tens column, one column, eight, one, nine. Nine is divisible by nine. Therefore, nine is a factor of 81. Let's check out 121. One plus two plus one is four. Four is not divisible by nine. Therefore, nine is not a factor of 121. 136, one plus three plus six is 10. Ten not a factor of nine, <laughs> all right? Um, not a multiple of nine. Nine is therefore not a factor of 136. Now, we can do this with large numbers, 2,925. We would add them all together, two plus nine plus two plus five, which gives us 18 when we add that all together. Now. Let's say we don't know that 18 is divisible by two. You can take this down one more step. Um, whenever you get a digit that's larger than two, two digits, you can add them up. One plus eight is nine, similar to what we did with the three. And now we know for sure, yes, nine is definitely divisible by nine. Therefore, not 2,925 is divisible by nine, or in other words, nine is a factor of this larger number. So Again, with nine, it's just adding up the digits similar to three. There is one interesting and neat pattern for the number nine, and you may have seen this. That you kind of list the numbers, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then you list them backwards, um, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then those are the nine times tables. So some patterns for nine when you're going multiplying 0 or 1 through 10 is that all of these would add up to 9, 1 and 8, 2 and 7, 3 and 6, 4 and 5, 5 and 4, 3 and 6, 7 and 2, 8 and 1, and 9 and 0. All right. Number 10 has to be greater than 0 and end with 0. So basically, it can't be 0. But all other numbers that end with 0 are divisible by 10. Here's some examples, 110, 111, 120, 132. We'll look at the number in the ones column. If it's a zero, it's divisible by 10. If it's a one or a two or anything other than zero, it's not divisible by 10. 10 is pretty straightforward and nice. So 10 is a factor of 110 and 120, but not a factor of 111 or 132.